Uh, nothing like chilling at home and glancing over to the landscape to just see that. <laughs> that looks amazing. Bask in the glory. That is the tower. Okay, done basking. Time to get to work. Let's go. As is tradition, before we get started, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you keep coming back and you want to see more of what's going to go on, especially with the tower and with 1.0 coming on, you might as well join the ranks of the Order of Chaos. Also, we have a Discord too, which you can join and get blueprints and all the different stuff that I have available going on there. It's fun! Even some other streamers to see and say hi to. Without further ado, let's get back onto it. Alright, let me catch up to speed for those who have not been following along at home. This is the tower. It is located here in this big giant gaping hole in the map. Why is it joined here? Because it looks amazing. And this part has a lot of fog. It's one of the reasons why I don't turn off the fog because as you get higher and higher, the fog just hides more and more of it. Which is kind of cool. I like that. Now, alas, this is broken into three major parts. This first part down here, this is where the ore was being made. So all the raw resources are made into ore and are just sent up into the tower. Then we get into section number two, which is broken apart by this wonderful wheel looking thing. Really kind of sets things off, sets the tone, if you would say. Now, this takes all the ingots and it turns it into raw resources. So as you can see, we have steel beams going on here. We have like, you know, iron plates. We have wire, all the basic components, even some mid-tier components, maybe for some people like, you know, here's alclad aluminum sheets. And that's not fun to say. That's a blast to say. I mean, we have all the different stuff on each one of these tiers. And then, of course, we have this area right here. Check it out. This is all the wonderful different items that are being made, and we made a storage room for it. And the nice thing about the storage room, you can look out into the oasis and see everything and bask in the glory. But that'll come later once we actually build on the outside walls. But there is also section number three. Up here is we're going to make all the high tier items. And to make all the high tier items, you need to go into production. And basically everything's made in a manufacturer or where's the other one? A blender. I mean, there are some stuff in the particle accelerator, but these ones right here, I'm not making either one of these. And I don't know about making any one of this yet. Just saying we might leave that till later. Ooh, well that's interesting. Usually when I build it, it goes much wilder than that. Huh, can we keep that? I like that. But as soon as I set a recipe, it'll probably go away. Yeah, there we go. So there are a couple things in here that I would like to get, but unfortunately I need stuff like nitrogen gas, which is gonna be neat trying to get it all the way up here. It's not the hardest thing in the world really fuels modular frames of course there's this recipe that of course needs nitrogen gas and we have well one of those being made batteries Ooh, battery sulfuric acid aluminum solution okay okay so there are a couple things in here that i might want to get not doing that but here is where all the big ticket items are, such as turbo motors, which I need this right here, the cooling slut, uh, cooling system, almost said cooling solution, cooling system just to get, as well as batteries could be fun, although the other one does look nice. Heavy modular frames, supercomputers, ooh, I might have to do regular computers two crystal oscillators all this good stuff so there's plenty of stuff in here the only question is how am i going to build it and then of course i was looking down at the bottom and i saw this strip of red and i it, it just came to me you know what this kind of reminds me of this whole tower what do you think it reminds me of guess your guess in the comment section below before i say it did you guess right all right well, so this is what it reminds me of. I'm Kibitz made this giant tower over here and it gives me like the same kind of like vibes. Now granted mine's not as chunky as the one that he built but it definitely has that nice giant tower feel. But in his build he built this thing right here. The beast. 
as he calls it. And it was giving me an amazing idea. What if I made a beast of my very own on my tower? You know, the... Oh, what's it what's it called where it's not stealing paying homage paying homage to this kind of build right here and making something similar so that's what i was thinking what if i could build like a beast in this general area because like here's the question how how tall is this so this is 38 which means if i go what's half of 38 well that's obviously 15 plus 4 so that would be 19 so this would be like the halfway part so what if i built like the beast starting here half it going down half it going up and just built all the wonderful manufacturers like that in the middle you think would that even oh would that even work i don't even know how many manufacturers i need to build but let's see how many i can make and if i can make it even close to how cool he had it all right, cue the epic music where it's like dun dun da da dun dun da da dun dun da da dun dun da da da. Yeppers, check it out. I put in probably way too many manufacturers. Oh, and the space elevator, and this is going to be insane. I don't know how Kibitz did it. Well, I know how he did it, but, like, I don't know how he did it without going crazy. This is way too many belts to manage. And I haven't even figured out how many items I need. Because why? Why would I Why would I waste my time doing that? That would be only productive. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, well, yeah, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Because these are about to be made there. 12 that's it so we got 12 being made or 12 that we want to be made and then of course we have one two three four five six floors six times four 24 times two 40 48 manufacturers 48 why why did i do that to myself where are my blenders where are my blenders going to be oh crap um how many things do i need from the blender Emerge! Blender of magical fortune. Wow, that thing never gets old. Let's choose something to get it off. Okay, I need the fuse. Need that. No, 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 no. Okay, so only two things from the blender. Oh! Well, what if I just get rid of, like, say, this floor right here, and then just switch them out for blenders? Yeah, that won't be too bad. There we go, and then I'll only have... Five times four. I only have 20, 40 manufacturers. Only 40. Ah, well, I'll figure something out. Good news, I figured something out. That over there sucks. So now we're just going to live in the forest. <laughs> just kidding. But I do need to build myself something fun. Our very first pressurized resource well. Oh. What a chunky boy. I love the animation on this. And then it just grips the rods and then we'll wait for it. Come on. Yamate Kurasai. Okay, that was that was not right. But perfect. Just what we need. And then of course we just add in some of this stuff over here. And then I will make... I'm only making one pipe. I don't even know why I put the extras in there. So I'm going to get one pipe of this lovely, lovely resource. And this is producing... Oh, jeez. That's a lot. But what is it? It is nitrogen gas. That is great. We need it to be... Oh. Well, actually, that's... I like that right there. That's perfect. Oh, are they fighting? Whoa. Get him. Get him! Get him, Spit! Oh my god! Hey, hey, hey. I got no beef with you, alright? Run. Alright, I'm back with fresh pantalones, and we got what we need. Check it out! The flow rate is here. This is our nitrogen gas. It's going to be pumped into here. And then you won't be able to see where it goes. 
And then, oh yeah, that's right. I put it in the front, so we're going to slide over here. And then this is just going to go straight up. Dun, 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 dun. That's copyright. Wee. And then it's going to go straight up here. Now this is going to be the interesting part. Instead of having it go straight up and ruining my beautiful view. All right. I want to see out into the distance. I have it uselessly going all the way underneath. Going into here. Up. Over. Through this tiny little section. To go back in the same spot that it started at. So it can go all the way up into here. Split off and go into our blenders. Why am I not over... Why am I at a wall? Jeez. And this one is set to cooling systems. All four of them. Don't ask. And this one over here. Wait. Oh, that's right. I was going to do two and two. Cooling system. Yeah, I was going to do two uh, fuse modular frames and then two cooling systems because they both need nitrogen gas. I have the nitrogen gas hooked up and going in. So not too bad. Not too bad. Granted, it is just kind of just wasting time until I can figure out how to make this work. But I know. All right, all right. Let me get to it. Let me get to it. Hold, please. I had a brainwave, but just the one. And it came up with this idea. See these things? They are smart splitters. The idea is if I have everything coming in from one side and then it takes what it needs and then it sends it over to the next one and then on the outside it comes out and whammo any over any overflow will just come out there and be done with not too bad right that's too but here's the thing to make it work what i had to do was i had to make basically the same recipe going all the way across so you know all of these are all heavy modular frames yada 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 the only one that I'm not going to do that to is this top one. See, I want to do some th thermal proportion rockets, all this stuff. But I have a special idea on what I want to do for this one. But these go in here, I just have like basically one recipe going all the way down. Now, I know that means I might be missing out on some recipes because like, what did we say? So we got the turbo motors, got classic, got that, got that, got that, got that, got that, 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 that. I got all of them. Wait a minute. I thought I was missing one then. What was I meant? Hold on. Oh, that's right. Because I put all of these little guys up here together, it saved me enough space where I could basically do that. So one, two, three, four, and then four on the other side. So that's eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. But these are actually doubled. So this one right here is also this one right here. This one, yada, yada, yada. Going all the way across. But this one right here might be supercomputers, whereas this one might be turbo motors. So yeah. So now, now, now is the fun thing. Trying to get this to work. Because it's, it's easier said than done. For example, this one right here. This takes heavy modular frames and aluminum casing. So what I would do is I go to the top one and I'd make this aluminum casing and then I'd make this one heavy modular frames and then the overflow just keeps going and then it basically does the same thing all the way. But if I get this stuck, let's say at the very end, uh, this is all full with heavy modular frames. Well, it's going to just stop the line and then I will get what I need for the rest of it. So what I need to do is have this come out and kind of merge together. And then put it in like a, where is it? Into like an awesome sink. I could probably fit one. I could pro yeah, I could probably fit it right down there. So then I'll just take the overflow, get it over here, and just kind of shove it in there. That won't be too bad, right? Actually, that'd be kind of cool having this at the front. All right. All right, let me do it. Let me see how bad it is trying to at least get it the overflow going in. God, getting it in there is going to be a problem, too. Jeez, I did not think this through. Kibitz, how much space did you leave yourself? Because this is nuts. All right, I'm sure you're all wondering, what am I doing down here? And what's this mysterious conveyor belt lift in the middle of nowhere? Actually, in the middle of my pipes. Oh, 
It was so OCD, I liked it. But I gotta get rid of that and figure out something new. Because I need to get another item into this cacophony. And that is... Wait, where is it? Sulfur! That's right, one of the recipes calls for sulfur, and I need to find it, and I need to get get it. Where is it? Right over here? We need to fly faster. So, the sulfur is just over yonder. How bad are the other ones? Oh, God. This is definitely the closest one, so we're going to have to use this one. So, I need to get this into there to get it all the way up there. Oh, my God. It looks so majestic. Ooh, with the moon and everything? Oh, that looks nice. Oh, The space elevator fits so perfectly right there. Ooh. Alright, if I don't build the walls good enough, I will never do this thing justice. But yeah, time to get this all the way up there. What, what did Kibitz always say? We're gonna boop it? We're gonna boop it. Bruh, what makes you think I have that boop sound effect? You know how long it would take me to find that in my epidemic sounds? <laughs> it's practically minutes. Okay, so good news. We now have sulfur coming in here. Even better news is my brain is broken trying to figure out how I made this work. Ah! Alright, let's go around through here. Maybe the front. Maybe the front. The front's a little bit easier to understand. There we go. Okay, so we have this going up and being made. Hooray! And then... Then we have all these coming over and sliding over. And then I just basically made an awesome sink for each one just in case. Because granted, this is three different lines going into one. So it may overflow a bit too bad. You know, just, just, just extra precaution. I did have more room to kill, so that was good. And then here is the overflow for all these. So take a look at this one. We have fuse modular frames being made at 1.5 per minute. What breakneck speeds? All of that gets merged together, goes through this hole, comes down here, and then if I need it for something else, I'll have it come out. But then I figured what I could do for these is I'll have this one as overflow going out the front, and then that'll be hooked up to this system. Then the other side will be hooked up to a uh, box somewhere? I haven't figured out where. Um, but yeah, I would basically fill up the box and then the overflow would go into the system. Now, now all this mess that you see over here, what I did was I put down these mergers and then I just started shoving the things that I needed into the line to go into the right one. It was annoying. It was stupid. If you're following along at home, you are probably screwed trying to do this because this was so bad surprisingly enough it is pretty compact and everything worked really well oh i did have to like switch like one recipe over just to get it to the right stuff because this side had the right ingredients where this side did not so it just made it easier and then of course there was a couple things like this line here where i needed those two items so i had them just merge over the edge and just brought over here but let me see if I can squeeze down in here. And we can kind of get a better look. Oh, there's a little bit more room over here. So, yeah. This is definitely one of those floors you'll never be going to. Oh, and there is a reason why all of these are Mark 1 belts. Because I don't want to overload the system. At 60 pieces per minute, that is good enough trust me now granted i could shove more up in there but why overload the system when i know it's just gonna break it except for quick wire we did need a lot of quick wire and we go through a lot of quick wire so that, that one was fine circuit boards too you know as long as it's not crazy everything's fine all right so we have the fuse modular frames being made no problem we have the heavy modular frames being made no problem crystal oscillators nailed it Radio control units, nailed it. I had to get the computers from the other side. The supercomputers being made, no problem. Slow and steady, even though I have so much up here. Uh, cooling system, got it. All right, batteries. This is what I needed the sulfur for, and I even have it coming in here just fine. 
I had to move a couple things around, you know, so I could get my nice OCD section, but it looks good. We got computers and, of course, high-speed connectors. And last but not least, turbo motors. So, with all these wonderful items, what are we going to do with them? Yep, we have one more floor. The worst of the worst. And I need to figure out how to get modular engines turbo motors, cooling system, fuse modular frames, and versatile framework, electromagnetic control rods and batteries, and motors, rubber, smart plating, also automated wire, circuit boards, heavy modular frames, and computers, all on these two lines because, of course, it's mirrored on the other side. Yeah, and I didn't really leave myself extra room. Oh my god, no! So, you all don't know this, but I just had a brilliant idea. What if I took all these lines right here, merged them into one, and then put a programmable splitter onto one side, and then send the stuff that I need for those into the line again, and kind of just added everything to it. Oh, God. That means I have to rip apart a bunch of this stuff. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, remember, builds be crazy, yo. Alright. Hold on to your seats. Let's do this. Behold! A less mess than I thought it would be. But I did have to get rid of the second awesome sink over here and the one over there as well. But it's not as bad as I thought. It's horrible and annoying, but not as bad as I thought. So we have two mergers and a second merger, or third merger, nah. what am I talking about? We have two mergers over here taking the six lines that were up top. We have a single merger right here taking those two lines plus a little from the back. That's all getting put onto one line, and then this is our programmable splitter, which we have a laundry list of things I want to send over. And then overflow goes off to the right, because we need to make sure that the system doesn't stop. Yep, and then this goes up into there. Now, before we go up there and see what I did up there, just note that it all comes together, merges back down, and... Splits off into two. You can't see it, but it's right there. And that comes back down, goes into here, and goes straight down till morning. That's right. That side, plus this side, merges together for the things I need. Splits off into half, so that half of it goes one way, half of it goes the other way. And we actually may get some things for the space elevator parts at the top. Now for the real fun part. No. Yep. I deleted one of each machine going all the way up on one side and all the way down on the other. Now, why did I do that? So I can actually get one of these machines, usually the first one in the system, to just get filled right over here. So that way, I can always have a bin of what I need for the really expensive and nice items. And I did it on this side, I did it on that side. I did it for this one, I did it for that one, and this one, and that one, and this one, and that one, and this one, and that one. Yay! And then, for this stuff up here, I just have it, like, merged together and then kind of split apart. With an overflow that goes... where does it go? It goes here and it goes all the way down. But not just an overflow, this one also gives my modular engines away because I need a modular engines for thermal propulsion rockets and I don't really need them just shoved up in here for no apparent reason because the space elevator's done there's nothing up here it's all done and I gotta say I think I did kibitz proud this is a mini beast worthy of the name and it has all the items you can possibly want and surprisingly enough everything compact belt work and over here is it the best way to do this absolutely not no way in hell there's a better way to do this you just need much more space but i wanted this thing to be as compact as possible to fit in this nice little area 
And of course, having the space elevator up there worked really well. So there's one last thing I want to do before I'm done with this video. I want to put a little topper on the top. Yeah, I know I could save all the, you know, cosmetic items towards the end, but I did the bottom before. I might as well top off the top, you know, to at least show you how high it's actually going to be. So one more time, let's wait and see what it comes out to be. Uh, nothing like chilling at home and glancing over to the landscape to just see that. <laughs> that looks amazing. And all I have to do now is add in all the fancy little stuff up top and we're good to go. But that is going to be it for me today. Now I would go over there and show off the little bit at the top, but it's just decoration. It's not too bad. But if you like what you see, don't forget to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to make it to something. Oh, come on. Slide. We. I'm going to sit on the bench. Ah. Uh, there we go. Yep. You know what? Just bask in the glory as we fade to black. Good night.